More incredible food from Michelle later on in the year. When musical superstar Elaine Page faced her food heaven or food hell back in December, I had grilled salmon with tempura prawns ready for food heaven and a comfy duck leg with celeriac mash all set for food hell. Let's remind ourselves what she got. Right, it's time to find out what Elena here will be facing for lunch. Is it food heaven or food hell? Food heaven could be that lovely piece of salmon, because I know you like your prawns that as well. That would do for me. Oriental ingredients over here. Mm. We've got <laughs> coffee and lime leaves, chilli, coriander. Alternatively, a big pile of duck here and a big pile of duck fat to go with it. Duck's just duck. Duck is just duck. <laughs> what do you think of these guys have decided? I don't know. I, I, th I was hoping they might be kind, be nice. It's to... a close one today. Four, is it? three. Four three. What's yeah. just mm. the one? Yeah. Nat was with you. I know that she was. That pushed it to That's three one. The girls are looking after the girls. Thank heavens. Unfortunately, the boys are looking after themselves because oh. everybody in the studio chose duck. Isn't that typical? <laughs> I mean, men are me. so they, typical. They, 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 look at oh. There you go. There you go. It's a bloke's dish. So we we'll lose that yep. out of the way, and we've okay. got duck. I'm afraid, Elaine. Okay. Right. Duck confit. Go Classic on, duck confit. If you can make a mash, we've got celeriac potatoes peeled, yep. chopped up, boiled. And then blend it in here with some butter and some cream. There well we go. Done. Right, duck confit. The way you make these, you use duck legs for duck confit. Right. But the word duck confit means to cook in fat. Uh -huh. right. Or it can be slow cooked in fat. And it's a way of preserving. But what you do with the duck confit and what makes them different is you salt them in 15 grams of salt per kilo of meat. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Well, you're never going to do this. <laughs> no, 15 <laughs> grams of salt per kilo. So you just put the, the salt in here. Right. Now the salt does two things. It breaks down the meat, but also it adds tons of flavour to this. A mm. uh, little bit of time in here. It's very, very traditionally French. And what you do now is you pay, take this and pop it in the fridge. Ideally overnight, but for at least 24 hours if you can do. And we've got one in here. Now, you wash off the salt and in here. So you wash this off. The colour changes just a little bit. It's oh, got yeah. slightly pink and firms up a, a little bit. But just mm. wash off this salt. Mm. And then you get the dreaded bit. Which there'll be masses of this stuff at Christmas. <gasps> Nigella made this stuff famous. Oi. Duck fat. Look there you at go. that. Oi. There, it's good for your go. arteries. It is very, very good <laughs> for your arteries. But the idea is we take the duck and we cook it in the fat. Now, this is the way of preserving. What they did is cook it. Uh, what they do in France is they cook it in the fat, but then they leave it in the fat. And it can last for between four and five months in the fat. Really? All right. And then you lift out. <laughs> Yeah, you gently, gently cook it. It cooks for about three hours, just right. really slow cooking, about 80 degrees. You don't boil it. Just well, on the top? Yeah, if you can trim that off, please, that'd be great. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you just gently, gently cook it. That's the whole idea of this. You don't boil it. You don't, it's not fried. You it's to cook it? slowly, slowly, slowly in duck fat. Right. Gently cooks. There you go. And you cook it on the hob. We've got a bit of garlic in there, and I'm going to cook our stew for this one. A bit of shallot. There you go. Move behind you. We're just going to trim up a little... Bit of the duck over there to go with this. So we take out some of our shallot here and we can turn this duck into duck confit, which is then roasted off in the oven. Alternatively, we can do duck riette, where you take the duck and mix together with duck fat and you've got a pate. Um, but this one, I'm going to do a little cassoulet with it. Cassoulet is used for duck as well. So you take some butter, that goes straight in our pan there. We're then going to grab, we've got the duck leg here, which that is. Lift this duck leg carefully into the pan. Grab some honey, take the entire lot there. That looks good. Is that going to crisp it up a bit? It's going to crisp it up, but above all else, add tons of flavour to this. So you can actually just serve this roasted as well. You can buy this in a jar, uh, this duck leg, already done and salted and cooked in duck fat. But then you can roast it like that. It takes about sort of three or four minutes. When they're still warm, if they're cold, they're going to take about ten minutes. Onions and garlic. Yep, that looks good. Tomatoes. Mm hmm. Tin tomatoes, these. Okay, yep. Flagella beans. There you go. Can you chop a little bit of rosemary up for you, please, guys? Yep, there we go. Yep. A bit of flagella beans. A bit of parsley as well? Yeah, some rosemary this as well. This is the sauce, great. is it? This is the little sauce to go with it. What's that? Stock. This is chicken stock. Right. right you can't really get duck stock because it's quite fatty. Yeah. So, a bit of that. However, you can see the way that we cook this duck. A little bit of rosemary I'll chop up. Got there, and get that in. And start to infuse that. So this is the basis for a cassoulet. I mean, you must have cooked cassoulet quite a yeah, lot. Yeah, definitely. It's one of my favourites. France. So you've got the sausage in there and everything else. Bit of pork in there as oh, well. Oh, everything. You can put anything in there. Um, it's like a sort of a French stew, which is really yeah, nice. Yeah, very nice. And then this one. Now you can see the way you cook this. 
The idea is like that. You know, you get that. Well, you won't order it on the restaurant. Chinese <laughs> crispy duck. <laughs> yeah. You're not impressed with this, are you, so far? Look sure. at the nicely in there. But it's... then you take the entire lot, the fat. You're gonna everything. Skin, You're everything. Gonna skin the lot. Okay, well, the fact that you've taken it off the bone make, helps a bit. Does it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's, look how brown it is. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's a duck. <laughs> can you do it with chicken? You can do. You can do it with chicken. Not. You can't do it with chicken. No. You want yeah, to do... you could do the chicken with this sauce, couldn't yeah, you? you could, yeah, but then it wouldn't be... Yeah, Duck. it wouldn't be castle -like. It'd be chicken and tomato soup. <laughs> <laughs> and then we take the all the chicken, the duck, I mean, <laughs> the duck, and the fat, and we put that all in here. Now, this is where you can take the riette. You can take this mixture here and blend this in a food processor or just flake it all up, mix it with duck fat. Then they have what thing called a duck riette. And when you have that on toast, mm. all the fat melts into the toast. You're just left with the, the confit duck on it. Well, so it's like a, you know, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Don't worry, it won't go everywhere. She steps back. A uh, bit of parsley you've got. You've got it's it in, in there. In, yeah. Salt. Look good, I must say. Some salt. So it's Black stew, pepper. really, then, isn't it? Some kind it's of kind of that. Yeah, it's casserole sort of thing, but it's a little thing to go with the duck that's roasting off in the oven. And then, of course, we've got a little bit of butter there. You don't actually have to put the butter in. Right? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more butter. There you go. <laughs> There you go. It's a real winter warmer, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice and simple. And you just basically... Can you season that for me, guys, and give it a quick stir? Yeah, yep. let's have a wee Meanwhile, taste. I'll go back to our duck over here. Now, put this in a really hot oven. That way it's going to cook the honey, which is what we want, quite quickly. And if we lift this out... Oh, it You can see that browns, browns the honey really quick. If I take yeah. this honey now, yeah. lift it off, and just quickly glaze it while it's still warm, it'll coat the duck leg. All right? You can only do this when it's still warm. Much better than that Thai cook, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> stop it. You're <laughs> ganging up on me now. It's not. Look, I'm impartial. I just have to cook whatever's yeah, put in front yeah, of me. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, I think I'm not allowed to vote for anything. There we go. Watch that doesn't set on fire. I'm not set on fire. Thanks very much, Tom. Again. All right. Calm down. Right. A little bit on that. It's got lumps in it, but I'll ignore the lumps. <laughs> What's that? Mash? Potato. Yeah, with lumps in it. Look at that. <laughs> there you go. Bit of that. And then we've got our spoon, we can bring it over. We've got a nice little castle, so you can just serve this as it is. But this is just... Put well, some that, bacon. I could eat that just like that. Well, it's got duck in it, Elaine. I know, but you can't see it. All right. <laughs> you know, I mean, because it's mixed in with the beans and everything else. And then we take the duck. It's going to ruin it for you. It looks lovely. Oh, on the top. It does look great. Yeah, yeah. very mm. nice. That... That's quality. Beautiful. It's proper good. chef's grub. That is. But above all else, it's blokey grub. That's yes. why these lot, I'm afraid, <laughs> chose it. I wonder why that is. Dive into that. Tell us what you think. Oh, nice and Bring that over here. Right, sorry. Okay. Tell us what you reckon. <laughs> what do you reckon? Which particular part are you going to try first? I'm going to <laughs> The mash, probably. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've just tasted it. Oh, it does look quite jammy. But it does, it'll crisp up with a little bit of honey. Oops. Do you want to bring over the glasses, guys? Oh, yeah, it'll be very hot. Very hot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, to go with this, Ollie's chosen uh, a Bardinello uh, from Majestic Wines. Uh, it's 2009 vintage. Again, priced fantastically at £5.99. You probably want that to get Thank rid of the you. taste. I'm going to have the beans. Have the beans. <laughs> there oh, you go. It's gorgeous. No, Dive into that. Mm. Wait. Let me try and open it. Dive in. Thanks. Very nice. Guys, you dive into that. Oh, I don't mind. Knives and forks. No, that is good. I, I've changed my mind. Well, it's kind of all right. I think I have. I Don't pick it up, otherwise the caterers on the tour will be, will be cooking for you all the time. I'm converted. Well, I'm best of luck on the album. Soup. Best of luck on yes, your tour. Pumpkin mm. soup on this, I'm converted. Exactly. <laughs> Well, that's the end of our short trip down memory lane and we'll have another selection of fantastic highlights from the past year to show you on next week's show. Please have a go at the dishes you've seen today and you can find all the recipes on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash recipes. And you find all the recipes from the whole series on there too. And we'll be back next Saturday with another helping of our best bites. In the meantime, have a great weekend. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. The BBC Books Saturday Kitchen at Home is available now. This week I'm going up, down and all around.
proud, making dreams come true.